Hey guys, Angry Beast here. I'm bringing you some infected gameplay on the map Arcadent. And uh, I'm running around with the PP90 with extended mags here, a Claymore, a Smoke Grenade, and 5.7 Akimbo. Um, this class comes with the uh, perks uh, Sled of Hand, Quick Draw, and, and Scavenger, I believe. And uh, if you haven't seen my previous infected video, the point of infected is to try and survive here. I tried to do the strafe jump here at the beginning, but it's not very successful. Um, they really need to do something about this game mode and infected. Uh, the way it plays out, it, it's very, very hard for the infected to win. Uh, if you remember, uh, they had the 44 Magnum, which you had uh, one team with 44 Magnum Akimbos, Scavenger Pro, and Quick Draw Pro with C4 and Stun Grenades against the knife only and that was pretty balanced it was probably the most balanced of all the game modes uh then you had a uh, striker with damage versus knife only but you had a tactical insert and uh throwing knife that was also pretty balanced but now they took a throwing knife out of all the game modes and they made it completely unfair for the infected um if you've seen this gameplay you'll find a whole bunch of guys who are just standing in the one spot and by the models and arcade in here and, I mean, top models is what I usually call it, but see them up there right now. And there's literally no way for the infected to get them. There's no throwing knives. Um, uh, there's no throwing knives, and you don't have any way of getting up to there other than the one way. So it, it's really not fair the infected on this map. But this is the closest I've ever gotten to a Moab. I think I end up this game being 22-0. and 0, But time runs out before I can get in Moab. There, there was no doubt in my mind that I could have gotten a Moab if the game was a little bit longer and I'd rushed a little bit more aggressively. But what, after playing a game before this with the uh, PP90 versus Knife, I, I decided that I'm not going to play Infected anymore by sitting up in a corner like that. I did that a couple games, and it's just too easy. They changed the rules to the point where they make it so hard the Infected to win. I decided that if I'm going to play Infected, I'm going to play aggressively and, and give the Infected a chance to win. I don't have any problems being an infected if the game is going really slow and I'm not doing exceptionally well. But this is just absolutely ridiculous uh, that we can have a whole team sitting up in that one area right there and the infected have absolutely no chance of getting there. And all they have is attack and certain and knife, which means if I just stay a good distance away from them where they spawn, they don't have any chance. Um, I think one of my teammates in this game actually does call in a Moab, one of the guys sitting up there. Uh, but... It really isn't what I'd consider a Moab. The only way I'd consider a Moab and Infected is if you're playing like this, if you're rushing around. If you're sitting up in a corner and killing guys as they're constantly running at you, I wouldn't call that a Moab. I'd just call that camping. <laughs> camping, and, and it really shouldn't count as anything. I think they should probably take the Moab out of Infected because it's too easy now to get a Moab in this game mode. It, before, if you had to throw knives versus strikers, it wasn't impossible to get a Moab, but it was definitely hard because you couldn't sit in one spot like that. They'd have a throwing knife, and you'd be killed out of it but now that they made it so there's no throwing knives no ranged equipment for the uh, infected it is very very hard to win a game as the infected i've i've gotten infected first once and after you infect the first guy you're almost completely unarmed and it really isn't fair i don't know what, what they could do to for this maybe give a throwing knife that's unpickupable or get, maybe give every one in five infected a throwing knife but something, because this is way too slow of a game mode without a lot of people being able to be infected at longer ranges. Just my opinion, I don't know what 402 was thinking when they, they took all the throwing knives out of it, but, you know, what can you do? I do sit in this place right here a couple times here when I think uh, that uh, the game is starting to speed up and there's more people getting infected, but I quickly get out of these spots because I realize no one's getting infected, no one's going to lose. Uh, it, it's just a lot of the same. You just sit in a spot, you can pick people off, and, you know, like 10 minutes down the road, you got a Moab, because they incre also increased the game time from 5 minutes to 10 minutes, which is also a really stupid idea, because it just increases campiness even more. If it's a 5-minute gameplay, no one really cares if they get turned to infected halfway through the game, because uh, they realize it's going to be over soon. I mean, but if there's a 10-minute gameplay, it's pretty much guaranteed. I have yet to see an infected win a game with the new rules, uh, if, but if it's that that type of rules now, it, it just makes it so that people camp harder because they don't want to die and become an infected. It basically puts the initial infected at a huge disadvantage throughout the entire game, and, it, and it's not a not sure fun game mode anymore. If they bring back the throwing knives, I think they could really fix this, but with short of doing that, I don't think it's possible to make this very good of a game mode anymore. Uh, but I. Uh, 
some tactics for this map. I really like this part of the map because you got cover here if you need it. If you need to go prone and really if you try hard and camp in this game mode, you got it. You got the stairs behind you, which you have a nice vantage point over top. You got uh, these stairs here, which is it puts you at a little bit of a disadvantage, but you also have a really steady aim on this class too, which is really stupid. They give you four perks, so I don't know. Pick up my tenth kill there, get the loner kill streak challenge thing. And they made a lot of these challenges really easy to get. I mean, I got the shoot 100 rounds into a juggernaut with an LMG on the MK46 versus juggernaut the other day. It, it's not hard anymore. Um, and because of the way it works, you just jam pop shot at the juggernauts as they come by. And they make some of these challenges that was really, really prestigious to get. Like uh, the executioner. No, not the executioner. The, the butcher. Or no, surgical, sorry. Surgical was really, really hard to get in Modern Warfare 2 or even previous in this game, but they've added these game modes where they make some of these challenges that are really hard to get, really easy to get, like calling 40 Moabs. You just play 40 games in Infected, and you pretty much get 40 Moabs. It's, it's not really that fair to people. I mean, it, it makes bad people to be able to do things they never would be able to do before, and it makes the people who are good, if they become infected, like the first infected, it basically gives them no chance to win. It, it just is what it is. It's a fun game mode if you're not the infected, but once you're infected, I've rage quit a lot of games. It's because it's just so hard to fight, play against something like this. You literally just can aim down sight in certain places. Like the m mission building. Mission building is basically impossible to get people out of. The one overlooking A. Mm. You're not going to get anybody out of that building. They just sit there looking at the stairway waiting for you to pop up. And because they took out the knife knifing lunge pretty much in this gameplay, and I mean in this game, they make it very hard to get people from long range with even a knife. I mean, if they give gave the infected possibly built-in commando as much as I hate to say it, that's pretty much the only thing that can make this game mode a little bit more balanced. That or give them throwing knives. They need to have something that they can do at longer ranges. But I push up here to get a couple kills, and when they're attacking starting like that, they're, it's, it's still not fair. They should either be given... I, maybe another idea would be get him like a three seconds of spawn on invincibility so you have to back away from the tactical insertion to be able to kill him you can't just sit there and knife him as soon as they spawn or else you'll get owned uh, it, they just need to do something about this game mode I get lucky there that my shriek wasn't hit by the guy sneaking up behind me uh, but this game mode is, is really fun but it's gotten to the point where it's ridiculous so I was playing uh, outposts uh, just after this gameplay, you're also playing another PP90 versus knife, and it's not fair on that map either. You have people standing on top of the dumpster in the corner of the map, from there, and there's only one way to get to them, and they basically sit there with their scavenger and sleight of hand. It's very hard to kill them. I mean, you just edge forward a little bit, pick up one of the scavenger packs, and you back up, back, back up, and because you also have an akimbo pistol, it, it's like it's like they don't know what they're thinking. They had the 44 Magnum. Akimbo is what Moe's what she had, which is a worse pistol than the 5.7 in my opinion. It has a lower fire rate cap, has lower capacity, does have a little bit higher damage, but it's still the same three bullet kill in most situations. But, and the affected didn't have a throwing knife, and that was fair. But now they have a PP90 with the extended mags, and you get the 5.7 Akimbos? I, there's just something a little bit wrong about that in my opinion. But anyways, this is a pretty nice gameplay. There's about a minute and a half left in it. And towards the end here, I started abusing these stairs right here. Um, it's, like I said, it's not fair. You can basically have them funnel into one location, but I'm not going to sit in a place where they can only come from one position. I'd rather stay in a place where they can't get me from multiple sides, but they have a hard chance of it. Um, it's really stupid the way this game plays now, honestly. If, if you want to play a fun game mode, a drop zone is supposed to be coming back. I haven't verified whether it's back yet or not. That's a really fun game mode, in my opinion. It's, it's sad they patched a glitch with the care package helicopters because you could actually shoot down four of those in one game and no more care package helicopters would come in. That was really awesome to do. But it seems like they've patched that glitch now, so it's it's okay game mode now. It's basically more like a headquarters where you just get random kill streaks in my opinion. But if you come into this game with a full party, you can basically set up in one spot. I mean, there's a couple strafe jumps on dome. Or is this frustrating? You can uh, either go into one spot above dome, which I believe T. Martin made a video about. I may, may link that in the description. Um, there's also the spot uh, above dome, which is like really frustrating because it's like it, there's no way to get up there if you're the infected unless the guy runs out of ammo. And even if they do, they just sit there waiting for you to come up there and they knife you as 
as you climb up the ladder. It's really stupid the way this game plays. People take it too seriously, but he may call in a Moab. There's like five minute, five seconds left, and a lot of people rage quit at this point, but the game's over, and two people end up getting infected again. But that's a 22 and 0 flawless on infected. Pretty good gameplay. Not a Moab, though. Hopefully, I'll bring you one soon. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get a Moab. But then, this has been Angry Beast, and I'm signing out.